So the actual official colorway for these is Butter, Butter, Butter. So that's not a made up nickname. These are actually the Butter Yeezys. What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another sneaker unboxing here on the Sneaker News YouTube channel. Uh, before we get started on this very obvious pair of shoes, uh, we'd like to ask you 350 favors and hit that subscribe button 350 times or just once, it does the same thing. Anyway, uh, we'd like to show you what's in this slide out box. Again, we don't really need to introduce it. It's a pair of 350s, it's the butters, let's go. So quickly, just to show you the box top, shout out Stadium Goods for having these early. And here it is, this is the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2, AKA the Butter colorway. Drops June 30th. There's a store list on our website right now. You can hit that link right in the description. And if you've already seen that store list, you know that these are dropping everywhere. That doesn't mean that you can just walk into a store and just buy them. You'll probably have to enter some sort of raffle and a lot of shops will be doing first come, first serve. So you're gonna have to wait in line or basically do a little bit of legwork, but still like these aren't super duper limited. Uh, we expect the resale value for these to not be that much higher than retail. As you've seen the previous Yeezy drops like the 500 blush and the 500 super moon yellows. They're pretty much available for just a little smidgen above uh, the retail price. These, of course, are $220. Again, drops June 30th. All that info is in the description, so click those links if you need to. But we're here to show you an in-hand look at the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Butter. So before we show you the shoes, let's just read out some of the basic info. The color code is actually Butter, Butter, Butter. So it's not even a made-up nickname. It's That's the actual color code. If you look closely here, it's almost a slightly neon yellow shade to this butter. So it's kind of uh, confusing why they would call it that. It's almost like canary-ish, yellowish sort of tone, but definitely a very pleasing to the eye uh, tonal color blocking. Just looking at the prime knit upper, you'll see the signature V2 stripes that go from the toe all the way down to the heel. On the medial side, again, this shoe doesn't really need any much more of an introduction, but we're here to just give you a closer look at the colors. Quick shot at the top, you see the thick butter yellow laces. You got the Adidas Yeezy in the insole. And then of course at the heel, you have the exterior pull tab. How this Yeezy 350 V2 is a little bit different from some of the drops that you've seen is that it has a different colored outsole. And this kind of this light gum tone is definitely an interesting pairing with the butter yellow. As you guys know, it was a semi-frozen yellow, AKA the McChicken Sandwich V2s that had that first gum sole. So this one, you can definitely tell that the shade of the gum is different from the shade of the butter yellow, but it's not like a harsh gum color. It's lighter version of a gum sole. Again, if you don't own a pair of Yeezy V2s, these are super comfortable because it features full length boost from toe to heel, extremely lightweight. Expect these to be really popular for the summer. It's one of the best on foot looking shoes that you know Yeezy has made. It's very form fitting. It kind of has that wide base that people seem to like. It has the ribbed Yeezy outsole. But just to speak on more of the trends, you know, a lot of the Adidas Yeezy footwear that Kanye West has been putting out has been more on the, the chunkier side of things. Of course, you have the 700 and then you have the 500 and there's a 700 V2 that Kanye West has been wearing throughout Paris Fashion Week. And about a month ago, he went on Twitter to reveal a whole bunch of upcoming samples. So it was more heavier on the chunkier side, but the Yeezy V2 isn't really going anywhere. Again, part of that inside teaser by Kanye West revealed some more tonal colorways and pastel tones. But the truth of the matter is like the sock-like shoe is a trend that's slowly being phased out right now, but there are a lot of people who still love the Yeezys. This is a great colorway. We don't think it's one of the best ones out, but the blue tints were great. The semi-frozen yellows are all right. The Beluga 2.0s was okay. These are just a slightly yellow version of the creams that are coming out again in July, by the way. But yeah, you know, this is 
very clean looking pair of Yeezys. Shouldn't be too hard to cop. However, you should enter as many raffles. Your local shop will have them. The store list is extremely extensive. They're dropping pretty much everywhere. Almost every Adidas st flagship store and Adidas original flagship store is gonna drop them. And of course, your local sneaker boutique will have them as well. So here it is. This is a Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Butter. We hope you guys enjoyed this uh, detailed in-hand look. You know, there really isn't too much to the design. It's your 350 V2 with a butter yellow upper, a slightly gum outsole, the classic 350 slide out box. Drops June 30th for $220. Store list is in the description below, so go ahead and hit that if you're trying to find if your local spot is dropping these. Again, if you have any questions and you want to see some closer shots, we're going to have more photos up on our website, sinkernews.com. Hit that subscribe button so you get notified whenever we do a new video. And thanks for watching.